Praise the Lord to all the viewers in the name of the Lord and the Savior Jesus Christ. Today's video is on Jesus' death and resurrection from Quran standpoint. Christian faith is totally dependent upon Jesus' death and resurrection and if this fails, we have a lot of challenges. Our faith is in vain. We are still living in our sins. There is no hope of eternal life. Jesus coming onto this earth has of no value and the gospel is in vain. So Islam tried to destroy this important doctrine of Jesus and resurrection through only one scripture which is Surah 4 157. So let us see what is Surah 4 157. What the Quran is speaking about Jesus death and resurrection in Surah 4 157. They did not kill him nor did they crucify him but another was made to resemble him. They certainly did not kill him. So what this scripture is telling in Quran is Jesus did not die. Jesus was not crucified. It appeared to people that is what this scripture is trying to tell. In Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 157, Allah says, He killed him not, neither did they crucify him. For assuredly they killed him not. So Quran is very explicit, confident, without a single doubt, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was not killed, neither was he crucified. I have core issues with the scripture within Quran itself. I have a textual contradiction of this scripture with other two to three scriptures within the Quran. Second thing, I have theological problem also with the scripture. Third, there is a moral problem. And fourth, there is an omnipotent power challenge to Allah that he could not raise Jesus Christ. Let us see the first point, textual contradiction within Quran itself. Scripture 1, Surah 19, 33. So here we see Jesus is speaking as a boy and what he is speaking about his death and resurrection. Let us see. Peace be upon me the day I was born and the day I will die and the day I will be raised up alive. So here we see that Jesus is speaking about his death and resurrection. So you could clearly see there is a contradiction with the base scripture of Surah 4 157 where the four, Surah 4 157 is telling that Jesus did not die nor crucify. Let us see the second scripture which is contradicting to the base scripture. Surah 3, 55. Here Allah is speaking about Jesus Christ. Remember when Allah said, O Jesus, I will take you up and raise you up to myself. I will deliver you from those who disbelieve. So what it is the meaning of raised up to myself? We need to see Allah is in heaven and Jesus is on this earth. When Allah is telling about raising to myself, then he is telling that he will raise Jesus from earth to heaven. That is what is raised to myself. It is in similar way what Jesus has spoken about. I will die and I will raise to myself. It is in similar context even Allah is telling that I will raise you to myself. What it means to be I will deliver you from those who disbelieve. That was the situation what happened when Jewish people did not believe Jesus Christ. He died and he rose again. That is the reason Allah had to raise Jesus to himself because the people did not believe. But the point here is, did he raise him alive or did he raise him through death and resurrection? We saw two scriptures very clearly telling about Jesus death and resurrection. Now let us see the third example, the third scripture which speaks about Jesus resurrection. It is in Surah 29 verse 13. Let us see. But they will surely carry on their own burdens and other burdens along with their burdens and they will surely be questioned on the day of resurrection about what they used to invent. What is the meaning of resurrection here? So here, Quran is telling in verse 13 that if we try to take the sins of the other person, then we will be questioned. 
we will be questioned in the heaven when we get resurrected. That means resurrection is true. If resurrection is true, resurrection is possible for believers, then it means if Jesus did not resurrect, how will the people tend to get resurrected? Because Jesus got resurrected, we believers also will get resurrected that at the day of judgment we will be questioned about we taking the sins of the other persons. Did you see here? There are three scriptures which are contradicting the core scripture Surah 4, 157. We clearly saw three textual contradiction uh, with the base scripture Surah 4, 157. Next section we will get into the theological problem. Let us see Surah 29 verse 12. And those who disbelieve say to those who believe follow our way and they will carry our sins but they will not carry anything of their sins. Indeed they are liars. So this scripture is very clearly telling that no one can take the burdens of other persons, which means no person can take the sin of other person. If that is true, then why Allah transferred the sins of this entire world, which was on Jesus Christ, onto other person and other person died? If this is true, then why this happened? These scriptures very clearly contradict the core scripture Surah 4 157 and again there is again a contradiction in the next verse itself let us see what it is going to tell in the same Surah 29 verse 13 it is telling but they will surely carry their own burdens and the burdens along with their own burdens so in verse 12 it is telling that we cannot take the burdens of other person and in verse 13 it is telling we can take the burdens of other persons. That is what we are telling. Jesus took the sins of this entire world onto himself. Our sins have been taken by the Lord Jesus Christ onto himself. We are also saying the same thing. Now even you see a couple of more scriptures 53.38 they state that no soul burdened with the sin will bear the burden of another. Even we are saying the same thing. No person who is carrying the sin can take the sins of the other person. Yes, this entire mankind is sinful and they cannot take the sins of the other person. But Jesus being sinless, he can take the sins of the other person. That's how he took the sins of this entire mankind onto himself. Even we are saying the same thing. You see one more scripture as well. But they will surely carry their own burdens and other burdens along with their own burdens. Here also you tend to see that one can take the burdens of other persons. That is what we are saying. But the, there is a condition. The condition is the person who is taking the burden of others should not have the burden of himself. So there is only one person in this entire universe who is none other than the Lord Jesus Christ who do not, who do not carry any burden of sin onto himself because we see this in Surah 29.19 that Jesus was a holy person, Jesus was a righteous person, Jesus was a perfect person, Jesus did not lie that he is a righteous person and he doesn't carry any sin onto himself. That's how he can carry the burden of this entire world. That's how even the Christians believe. So where is the problem? I don't see any problem. In fact, Quran is explicitly saying as I have spoken to you very clearly until now that even Quran testifies that one can take the burdens of the other person provided they are burdenless. We have seen, we have seen in Surah 29 verse 13, we have seen in fact even Surah 53, 38. We can also see this in Surah 6, 164. Let us see that. Every soul earns not except against itself and no bearer of burden will bear the burden of another. 
So no person who is carrying the sin of himself can take the sin of the other person. Yes, we are saying the same. Jesus is sinless. He carries the sin of this entire world. Where is the contradiction? The third thing is omnipotence power of Allah. Does Allah not have the power to raise Jesus from the dead? Did Allah not create this entire universe that raising Jesus from the dead is impossible to Allah? Does Allah not have the victory over the death? Like how Jesus had the victory over the death? Why it was problem for Allah to raise Jesus from the dead? That he had to make people to appear that other person was replaced in place of Jesus Christ and it was not Jesus Christ but other person died. Why Allah has to do this? I had a challenge there. Next fourth, moral problem. Here, if Allah is God, why he had to deceive people? To make people appear that it was not Jesus Christ but other person died. And after 600 years, Allah speaks about it was not Jesus but other person died. For 600 being silent and contradicting the statements of Jesus Christ where Jesus himself speaks about his death and resurrection while he was a child. Do you see that there is weakness in this scripture Surah 4 157 such a powerful doctrine of Jesus Christ where we see innumerable scriptures in the Bible and you cannot destroy with one scripture Surah 4 157 and say that Jesus did not die and it was other person who died. I have clearly elaborated and I have proved through this Quranic scriptures that Jesus died and rose again. And I praise God and I want to thank my Lord and my Saviour Jesus Christ for his death and resurrection and I pray for each one of you who are watching this video to believe in Jesus Christ because you would have eternal life. I thank you.